traded some of the most iconic Silver Age grails in the hobby for these four stacks of books. AF15 and a 4.5 for these two stacks of books, uh, valued at around $50,000. And X-Men number one in a 3.5, Journey into Mystery 83 in a 4.5, the first appearance of Thor. And then he threw in uh, Tomb of Dracula number one in a 9.4 for these two books, uh, these two stacks of books right here. And some of you watching this might say, why? Why would you trade uh, those holy grails for all of these books. And the reason is that I add about 20% of the to the fair market value of the grail for the trade value. Um, and it's a lot easier to sell uh, books of lower value, you know, in that $100 to $1,000 range than it is to sell a $50,000 book. Now, there's nuance to it. There tends to be a little bit more volatility with the lower value books, but there's volatility with the grails as well, especially in today's market. And at the end of the day, when I crunch my numbers, uh, it seems to be working well. And also, I love getting new inventory coming through the shop. I mean, every single one of these books in this stack is like a significant key that is like, awesome to see and every single time i get to open these packages and go through these stacks of books i've just it i'm tickled to death that i do this for a living so thank you guys for all the support i'm i'm i know that the people that i'm doing these trades with are really appreciative as well i mean they're making some of their dreams come true i just talked to the guy with the af15 his hands were shaking he's so excited to get these books and his collection that he traded me for the AF-15 is basically curated after all of the stuff that I collect. And I'll talk more about it when we go through the books of why I think these books uh, are so cool and so special. Uh, but before we do, I am going to draw the winners for February. My employees should be here uh, today. We just moved to Montana for those that haven't been following the channel. Uh, so I'm a little bit behind with drawing the winners for February's giveaways. And we also have uh, brand new giveaways for the month of March. We're giving away a Star Wars 1. If you subscribe to the newsletter at BriceComics.com, that's also where you'll get first notification of new inventory like this when it comes through the shop. Um, and if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment on this video and like this video, you're interested to win a free slab as well. Follow me over on Whatnot. There's a link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase on Whatnot. We have some awesome shows coming up. I have tons and tons of slabs that need to be processed that we're gonna start at $1 on Whatnot. We do tons and tons of slab giveaways. We have wheel spins for your chance to win $1,000. It's a ton of fun. And there's also going to be Whatnot Con coming up in April. And I've scheduled that show so you can go bookmark Whatnot Con. You're not going to want to miss that. New exclusive drops, all kinds of fun stuff in the works. We're just trying to get settled and get back on track with everything with the shop. With that said, let's flip this camera around and take a look at these books. All right, so we're gonna start with the trade for the AF-15, and then I'll tell you when we switch to the other trade. Amazing Spider-Man number 569 and 9.8, and this is the newsstand edition, which you can see because down here in the barcode box, it says Amazing Spider-Man. That means it's a newsstand edition. It, if it says direct edition, it means it's a direct edition. I looked for this book for years on eBay. I used to hunt uh, rare newsstand editions like this because it's so difficult to tell sometimes and uh, somebody might not know that they had a newsstand edition and list it for a direct edition price. I tried for years to find this book uh, and I never did. And so here it is. So it's really cool to see this uh, finally with the 399 newsstand edition first appearance of anti-venom uh, here's another rare newsstand amazing spider-man number 509 amazing spider-man 299 newsstand edition so you're going to see a theme here there's this is a prim primarily a newsstand edition collection which is just so awesome because you get a classic key like this that is very valuable in the direct edition but you'd make it just that much more rare in the newsstand and it's a true feather in your cap. I mean, who? how many people can say that they have Wolverine Origins number 10 in a newsstand edition? And this one, this one says Wolverine Origins here in the barcode box, whereas the direct edition says direct edition. And this is the first appearance of Dakin. Wolverine number 155, newsstand edition. This one you can tell because it says October right there. It means it's newsstand and this one they fluctuated over the years a lot of different ways to, to designate whether it's a newsstand. Really cool to see this one, just an awesome cover from 2000. 
Incredible Hulk 345 newsstand edition, classic Todd McFarlane cover, very difficult to find in a 9.8 newsstand. Amazing Spider-Man 316, first full cover appearance of Venom 9.8 newsstand. And the black edition of Edge of Spider-Verse number two with the custom label, first appearance of Gwen Stacy as Spider-Woman. This is the rare black error edition uh, background. So again, you know, how many people can say they own Edge Spider Verse 2 and a 9.8? A lot. How many people can say they have the rare black printer error edition? Uh, very few. Ultimate Fantastic 422 newsstand. Um, it's a 9.2 first appearance of the Marvel Zombies. Amazing Spider Man 210 in a 9.8 newsstand. First appearance of Madam Web. Amazing Spider Man 212 in a 9.8 newsstand. Origin first appearance of Hydro Man. Captain N Game Master number one from Valiant Comics. Marvel Age number 90 in a 9.8 newsstand. Classic Todd McFarlane art. Incredible Hulk 449 in a 9.8 newsstand. This is one that's incredibly hard to find uh, because of the paper quality of, of the book. To find the 9.8 newsstand is uh, exceedingly difficult for the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. Amazing Spider-Man 313 in a 9.8 newsstand, classic Todd cover, and another awesome classic Scotty Young cover, Amazing Spider-Man 611, the newsstand edition, because it says Amazing Spider-Man up in the barcode box. Batman Adventures 1 newsstand edition. Another cool thing about this collection is that a lot of them uh, actually have the designation there on the label where it says newsstand, where CGC recently started uh, doing that. Thundercats number one in a 9.8 newsstand based on the animated TV show. I've always loved this cover for Avengers 223 in a 9.8 newsstand. Spidey Super Stories number 25. Uh, this is the first and only appearance of Webman, an e evil opposite version of Spider-Man. You can see the colors in his costume are flipped. You also got Doctor Doom on the cover there. Uh, they actually made an action figure out of Webman at one point. Wolverine number one, this is one of the rarest newsstands uh, that there is. It's from 2013 and 2013 was the last year that Marvel did newsstand editions. DC went all the way up till 2017 and you can still find newsstands at like Barnes and Nobles and stuff like that. Um, but this is Wolverine number one newsstand edition and DC Comics presents 47 Masters of the Universe first appearance of He-Man and Skeletor in comics Thor 459 uh, this is where Eric Masterson becomes Thunderstrike in a newsstand Amazing Spider-Man 217 John Romita Jr. cover newsstand edition Amazing Spider-Man 253 first appearance of the Rose Newsstand edition in a 9.8. I think there's also a 9.6 in here. X-Men 133 in a 9.8 newsstand. ASM 167, first appearance of Will O the Wisp in a 9.8 newsstand. Amazing Spider-Man 149 in a 9.6, first appearance of the Spider-Man clone. ASM 101 uh, 92 white pages. This is the UK price variant. You can tell because they put a different price right there than the sense version. The sense version says still 15 cents, and this says still one dash minus. First appearance of Morbius. Incredible Hulk number 180 in a 92 with white pages, custom label, first cameo of Wolverine, and 181, the first full appearance of Wolverine in a 9.2. And one of the coolest 9.8 newsstands, in my opinion, Incredible Hulk 340, 9.8 newsstand, white pages, custom label, classic Todd, doesn't get much better than that. Here's the 9.6 of the, f oh no, this is a Mark Jewelers insert. Um, so all Mark Jewelers inserts are newsstand editions, but it, it also means that they have an ad inside for uh, jewelry for Mark Jeweler. So Star Wars the Clone Wars number one in a 9.6 first appearance of Ahsoka Tano Newsstand edition. This one is going to my buddy Hughes. I have to crack it. It says um, You know minor well, it says spine stress lines in the graders notes And that's the only thing and those can be worked on so I'm really hopeful to get this back in a 9.8 newsstand, which is a massive jump in value. Disney's Darkwing Duck Limited Series number one, 9.8 newsstand. What if Venom 
possessed Deadpool 96 newsstand, Nova number one in a newsstand, ASM 20998, you know what. Free comic book day in Star Wars, The Clone Wars number one. First appearance of Savage Opress. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, nine six newsstand. This is the second appearance of Miles Morales. First appearance of the Ultimate Prowler. First appearance of his parents. It's uh, a major Miles Morales key, and it's incredibly difficult to find in newsstand edition. I don't think I've ever even seen a nine eight newsstand of this come up for sale. Um, if there are any 9-8 newsstands, I think I remember talking to a buddy that said there's like two or three in existence. So let me know if you have one. Shoot me a picture. I'd love to admire that. Spider-Man number one, newsstand edition. ASM 265, 9-8 newsstand. First appearance of Silver Sable. Awesome custom label here on uh, this ASM 258, 9-8 newsstand. If you're sick of hearing me say newsstand at this point, this is the last little bit in the first stack here for the AF-15 trade. Werewolf by Night 32, first appearance of Moon Knight in a 9-0 white pages. Iron Fist 14 in a 9-8 white pages, first appearance of Sabretooth. Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 30, first appearance of Morbius. It's a you-know-what, 9.8. Amazing Spider-Man 347 in a 9-8 you-know-what with the custom label. Awesome Eric Larson cover. ASM 46, 7.5 white pages. This is also the UK price variant origin and first appearance of the Shocker. And X-Men 212 in a 98, you know what. I'll say it for the last time. Marvel Tales number 224. Todd McFarlane goodness, 98 newsstand. All right, now we're getting into the trade for the X-Men 1, Journey into Mystery 83, and the Tomb of Dracula. This is about $23,000 in value here. Edge of Spider-Verse number 2, third print, first appearance of the new Spider-Woman in Gwen Stacy. We got two copies of that. Kane in the Last Padawan number 1, first appearance of Ezra Bridger and Sabine Wren, etc., etc. Venom number 3, 98 third print first appearance of null War of the realms new angels of atlas number one bunch of first appearances in there a couple copies of that x-men 94 and an 8.5 this one has beautiful beautiful colors really good color strike on this one um this is the second appearance of nightcrawler storm thunderbird colossus and the new x-men begin avengers annual number 10 first appearance of rogue in a 9.4 and an 8.5 and an 8.0. I love that book because it, it always sells instantly. Um, and Young Avengers number one, director's cut in a 9.8, first appearance of the Young Avengers. Avengers 48 and 8.0 white. She Hulk number one in a 9.8. And Spider Woman number one in a 9.8. New Mutants 98 in a 9.4 white pages, first appearance of Deadpool. Kanan the Last Padawan number six. Star Wars Legacy number one. This is the second print, the first appearance of Cade Skywalker and a bunch of others. Star Wars Heir to the Empire number one. The first comic book appearance of Mara Jade and Grand Admiral Thrawn. Punisher number one. This is the unlimited series, the ongoing series from 87. A 9.6 of the first Deadpool. Uh, Darth Vader number three, first appearance of Dr. Aphra. And here you can see the sense version of Amazing Spider-Man 101, the first appearance of Morbius. ASM 129 in a 9.4, first appearance of The Punisher. ASM 316 in a 9.8, first full cover appearance of Venom, the direct edition, and a direct edition here for ASM 328, classic Todd McFarlane. Is it a gut punch or a nut punch? You tell me in the comments below. ASM 361 in a 9.8 new sand. First full appearance of Carnage, Avenging Spider-Man 9. Carol Danvers becomes the new Miss Captain Marvel. And a 9.8 signature series signed by Michael Golden for the first appearance of Rogue. Darkhawk number one, the grail of all grails. And another copy of Aphra. X-Factor number six, first full appearance of Apocalypse in a 9.8 white. We got one, two copies of that. War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas 2, first full appearance of Swordmaster. 
X-Men 129, the first appearance of Kitty Pride in an 8-5. Young Avengers number one, cover A. We got one, two copies of that. They're not what you think. Leave a note in the comments if you can tell me what they actually are. Young Avengers number one, the director's cut. Tales of Suspense 57 in a 3-0. Origin first appearance of Hawkeye, who appears on the cover four times. Incredible Hulk 181 in an 8.0. First full appearance of Wolverine. And a 9.8 direct edition of Ultimate Spider-Man number one. Venom number three, we got several copies of that, one and two. First full appearance of Null, cover A. And Venom number three, second print for the first full appearance of Null, and another third print. I love multiples of books that sell very quickly, it's, it's awesome. Giant Size Defenders number three and eight five white, first full appearance of Korvac. I'm surprised at how affordable this book is. In, in in a grade like this, it's, it's just kind of shocking to me. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one. First appearance of Moon Girl. This is the hip hop variant cover. Incredibly difficult to get in high grade because it's all black. Silk number one. First solo series for Silk. Thundercats number one. Nine four newsstand. Hulk three forty direct edition in a nine point eight. Incredible Hulk 449 Direct Edition for the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. Thor 338, the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill in the 98 newsstand. Submariner number one in 8.5. Strange Tales 178, first appearance of Magus. Another copy of Free Comic Book Day Star Wars Clone Wars. And Strange Academy number one, the J. Scott Campbell variant. So as you can see, just banger after banger after banger. This is why I love this hobby, why I love this job. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way to the end of the video. Don't forget to check us out on Whatnot. Tons of awesome shows lined up. Link down in the description for $15 towards your first purchase. Hit me up on Instagram at Bryce Comics. I do uh, trades for grails over there as well. And thank you once again for sticking with us to the end. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.